Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll show you how to use Working Paper 1205 which is our overall audit strategy. So please keep in mind that this is not the audit plan. Okay, so it does not contain any details about your approach of testing, whether you're going to follow a substantive test of detail approach or a combined approach with some test of control procedures or analytical procedures or whatever the case may be. This is the overall strategy. So in other words, how do I get my empty audit file to a fully completed audit file? Okay, as easy as that. So firstly, you will need to document action one, which is the comments and the record of the work done on these considerations that we've included for you. And then secondly, you need to include any changes or updates to the audit plan. Okay, so industry specific reporting requirements such as reports mandated by industry regulators or reporting currency of the entity, basic things that you need to know about this client before attempting to audit it needs to be documented over here. So for example, a very important one is the key dates. So when do you think you're going to start with this field work? When will you attend the stock counts? Will there be any interim audit work um, completed on this client? Any specific areas to consider, etc, etc. Okay, so very bird's eye view, very general things you need to document in this working paper. There is nothing dif difficult about this working paper. So firstly, this is also a working paper that, or lastly, this is also a working paper that shows the different shades of blue very clear. So these cells will roll forward into the next year. These cells will not. Okay, just so that you can show, see the different shades of blue that we use. Okay, and that's 1205 in a nutshell.